Depending on what you're trying to sell online, it might make sense for you to have your ads run only during certain days of the week or during certain hours of the day. That's where ad scheduling comes in. Nearly all the platforms we talk through on this channel have some form of ad scheduling, with Google Ads being probably the easiest to use. If you want to learn more about that, you can check out this video right here. But Facebook ads is actually a bit more difficult to utilize. There are some certain settings you have to have in place to use ad scheduling because you cannot use it on every campaign set up with certain settings. So in this video, I want to tell you what those settings are. We'll talk through some scenarios where you might want to schedule your ads. And then I'm going to end off with just a few words of caution. For the sake of this video, I've created a new traffic campaign because I'm assuming that most of you, when you're going to start scheduling your ads, you're probably going to do it from a brand new campaign. You'll see here that I'm in the ad set section of this new traffic campaign. So all this lives at the ad set level. And to get started scheduling, we need to scroll down to the aptly named budget and schedule section of the interface. Unfortunately, Facebook likes to hide where the scheduling options are here. All you can really see are budgets and you have some sort of a schedule here because there's a start date and an end date, which is optional with the daily budget setup. But this isn't quite the type of scheduling that we're thinking of, right? We want to do something that's day of the week, time of the day, so on and so forth. That actually lives in this show more options button down here. So if I click on that, you'll see that ad scheduling is here and says run ads all the time. If I hover over, you'll notice that there is a pencil that pops up here, but I can't click on it because scheduling is only available with lifetime budgets. So the fact that Facebook defaults you to a daily budget means that you would not be able to schedule your ads on most campaigns until you shift it over to a lifetime budget. Unfortunately, that's even if you add an optional end date to your campaign, you still cannot schedule ads unless you're utilizing a lifetime budget. There are some pros and cons to daily budget versus lifetime budget that does have some impact on performance of your campaigns, how Facebook tries to optimize, so on and so forth. But for the sake of scheduling only, we will need to opt into utilizing a lifetime budget. So I'll come up here and choose from the dropdown, shift this from daily to lifetime. Now we've reset. Facebook has given it a new budget. Nicely enough, it is up to $350 for the lifetime of the campaign. So then if I come down here in the additional options section, if I hover over ad scheduling, now we can see that the pencil to edit is blue. So if we click on this, it gives us a checkbox, which is effectively the same thing that we had before. It might as well have just opened it. But then if we actually check the box here, we can start to do some cool stuff. Now we can start to see the schedule down here at the bottom of where we can start to fill in different hours. And I wanted to show you how easy this is. Just think of this as a regular table. Everything in this first line is going to be for Monday and then Tuesday, Wednesday, each of the days of the week. And then you've got the hour increments starting at 12 a.m. up to 3 a.m., 6 a.m., so on and so forth, where each of the blocks in here represents a one hour gap. So if we were to check this box here, we would be targeting from 12 a.m. to 1 a.m. on Mondays only. And the nice thing is that's as easy as it is to start targeting different times and days on Facebook. You simply have to come into the builder. You can check individual segments of time if you want to. You can click and drag while you have the button pressed on your mouse, drag down and it'll add all those hours. Or you can do something even different. You can come down and let's say that every day you want to target people from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. You can come down in this bottom section here and either check all the individual boxes or you can just again click and drag and add all of those hour increments for all of the days of the week. So it's very easy to make sure that you have your ads scheduled for the specific hours that you want. And Facebook will adjust your campaigns to be on or off based on the hours here. And just as a quick key, in case it wasn't completely obvious, anything that is blue is going to be a scheduled hour. And that's when your ads are going to be running. The only other option we have here is one right above this chart, and it is an important distinction. There are two different time zones you can run these ads on. It's going to default to use the viewer's time zone. So I'm in Eastern time, but if I were to run an ad schedule that looked something like this, even if it weren't, you know, just completely messy the way I have it set up here, and I can't even clear those out, I'm not very good at clicking. If I were to run the ads like this, I would see it in my time zone in Eastern time in the United States from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. 
but somebody in the Pacific time of the United States would see it from their 6 a.m. to 6 p.m., even though that's three hours different than mine. People on the opposite side of the world, we would almost be running on completely opposite times because their 6 p.m. is my 6 a.m. So I would have ads for the 12 hour period where they didn't and vice versa. The other option you have here is to run ads based on the accounts time zone. This account is set up on central time. So effectively, I would be running ads if I chose this. I in central time would be seeing ads show up from 7 a.m. until 7 p.m. and somebody on Pacific time would be seeing it from 4 a.m. to 4 p.m. but users in Central time would be 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. because that's where it's set up. This can be very useful if you have specific sales. I'm thinking about Black Friday sales, things like that, where there is a specific cutoff and it stops typically at something like midnight Eastern time or midnight Pacific time in the US. You wanna make sure that your ads shut off consistently for all users and that people don't continue to see sale ads when the sale is already gone or they don't see the sale ads before the sale has even started. That's a terrible user experience. So depending on why you're scheduling your ads and depending on what type of messaging you'll be using, make sure that you choose whether you wanna use the account time zone or the viewers time zone to run this schedule on. Now I just gave you one example, but I do wanna hop into a few scenarios where you might wanna use ad scheduling in your Facebook ads account. If there's any type of time lag between the conversion and the follow-up, for your campaigns. I'm thinking mostly of like a lead generation campaign. It might make sense to schedule your ads during certain hours or certain days of the week. For a good example here, let's say you have a company policy where anybody who submits a lead to your company needs to be contacted within 24 hours. That's gonna be really difficult if somebody sends in a lead on Friday afternoon and nobody works until Monday. Might make sense to not have your Facebook ads run on Fridays or at least not Friday afternoon. And it might also make sense to let your ads run on Sunday in case somebody would get in touch with you Sunday because they'll get a call back within 24 hours promptly first thing on Monday. So that's one reason you might do it. Another is very similar. Maybe you're trying to generate phone calls with your Facebook ads. And if you're curious how to do that, we do have a video that you can check out at the top of the screen right now. But maybe you only want to get phone calls when you're able to answer the phone. So you can use ad scheduling to make sure that your ads are off when you're not in the office and they're on when somebody can answer it. And that way you can answer the phone, have a good user experience and try to get more customers that way. Another instance where you might wanna schedule your ads is if you have cascading messages over the course of an event. This is a little bit more advanced theory than what the other options are where you just have things on or off. Let's say you have a happy hour that you're trying to promote on Friday and you get three different ad sets within your campaign that you're trying to promote because you have different messaging. Let's say one ad set is active Monday through Wednesday and all of the ads say, enjoy our happy hour on Friday, 10% off apps. Those run from Monday to Wednesday and then they turn off. Then on Thursday, you have ad copy that says, don't forget about our happy hour tomorrow because it's on Thursday and that runs only on Thursday. And then your third ad set can promote the happy hour at the beginning of Friday and up until shortly before happy hour and then not throughout the rest of the evening. This is a little bit more advanced, like I said, but you can see how you can utilize ad scheduling to customize your messaging if you're creating different ad sets and scheduling them for different times of the day or different days of the week leading up to an event. That said, there are some words of caution when it comes to scheduling your ads. First is one of the things that I try to tell my clients is that people use Facebook all the time. In the first scenario I told you around generating leads and wanting to make sure that somebody is contacted within 24 hours, if that's a company policy, you kind of have to stick to it. But just because you can't respond doesn't mean that it's not useful to get in front of somebody on a Saturday. That might be the time where they're able to actually spend time on Facebook and engage with it. This is also something that B2B companies seem to struggle with. They don't want their ads to run in the non-business hours, basically 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday, because they think people aren't paying attention. But during those hours, users are at work. In a lot of different companies, Facebook is a website that is not able to be reached at the office. So if you don't reach them on Facebook in the evening hours or on the weekends, you won't get in front of those users. Make sure that you're weighing the options between the value to you to get in front of those users in maybe not your peak hours, but still getting in front of them, or making sure that you only reach them during the hours that are perfect for you and being willing to not make an impression on somebody because you're scheduling it for specific hours. The last piece I have here is that every time you restrict anything on Facebook, everything gets more expensive. 
It's the same thing with audiences. The smaller the audience size, the more specific you are, the higher your CPMs. The same is true for placements. The more you restrict your placements, your CPMs are gonna go up, things get more expensive. That's also gonna be true for the scheduling of your ads. If you start to limit times and you get really specific, even like the happy hour scenario I gave on the last slide, that can be really expensive. You need to weigh the options between the value that you get from scheduling your ads to be that restricted and the messaging that you're giving to your customers and what type of follow through they're gonna have on it. Even though Facebook tries to hide it in the interface, their ad scheduling tool is really easy to use once you've gotten over the idea that you're going to opt into lifetime budgets and it's really customizable. In some ways, it's more specific than some of the other platforms and it can be really useful Useful to make sure that you're reaching the target audience at the right time. I tried to give a couple examples of why you might want to schedule ads, but if you have any other use cases for why ad scheduling worked really well for you, or if you have any other struggles with it, I'd really love to hear about them in the comments below. Thanks for watching our video. If you thought it was useful, give us a thumbs up below. We release a new video at least once a week, so if you want to get notified of when a new one comes out, be sure to subscribe to the Paid Media Pros channel.